So in this video, we're going to learn how to enter our games, annotate them using colorful arrows, colorful squares, and even adding engine annotations as well. So let's get started. So the first thing to know is that Chessbase has this really interesting system of humus, which is basically a system that predicts your moves. And it allows you to enter a lot of moves by simply single clicking them. I don't actually have to drag and drop the pieces. So for example, I double click here or single click, I get E4, single click here, C5, single click here, and so forth. As you can see, it's very, very good. It's not perfect though, and it will eventually get things wrong. So be warned. But it does simplify a lot of the entry process, and it's worth noting. So let's enter a few more moves. And okay, so here we have basically the first few moves of a pretty standard um, Sicilian dragon. And we've gotten the basics in, and we're missing a few other things that we'd like, such as variations. For example, why knight takes d4? Oh, I wanted to try something else. Okay, what would you like to try? How about bishop d7? Okay. Now, if I play it this way, it automatically chooses this as a variation. I could, of course, decide that this should be the main move. So I could play, let's say, h4, just let's get, fill out the variation just a little bit more. Okay. Now, We've decided that bishop d7 is going to become the main line. So we right click here and we choose promote variation. And now knight takes d4 has been relegated to a sub variation. And that's all there is to it. You can add and subtract variations as much as you want. If I wanted to delete this variation entirely, what would I do? Gee, you know, I didn't really want this move at all. Well, you would right click on it again and you can press delete, delete variation. But this is one of the practical shortcuts that's worth learning. Control Y. So we'll do that here. And now we have the same thing. Now, let's suppose that we wanted to actually give this some more annotation, more colorful annotation, like you see in Mega Database, you know, by the professional kind of analysts. So the thing to know about this is that all of the colored annotations, such as arrows in yellow, green, or white, yellow, uh, yellow, green, or red, sorry, um, is going to start with the Alt key on your keyboard. So you press Alt, and then you would basically drag it up to show the arrow. And you can do it again if you want to erase it. If I press Alt Shift, I get red. And again, I can delete it. Alt Control, and I get yellow. And again, I can delete it. And you can also simply annotate the colored squares. So instead of arrows, and you can make these arrows as big or as long as you want in all directions. But suppose I want a different colored squares. Well, you do the same thing, but simply clicking on the square. So for example, Alt here. Alt here, Alt here. And that's all there is to it. Now, suppose I want to enter engine analysis. You know, I want to ask the computer what it would do here. I have already installed Power Fritz 18 here, and it's going to become the engine that I'm going to open up with default Kibitzer. In a future video, I'll show you how to analyze and install multiple engines of your choice. So I open it up, and it's showing me with eight CPUs that it would press, that it would play H5, and all that's fine. And let's say that I wanted to include its variation. But even though its H5 has already been played, it's going to include this as a variation of the engine. So how do I do that? Well, you can right click on it, and you simply choose Copy to Notation. That's all there is to it. And now I can right click and close the engine. And here, as you can see, I've got all of my colorful stuff. And if I press the arrow, it's going to tell me, oh, I have multiple variations, not a problem. So I want the one with all of the moves by the engine. And you can see it gave me all of the moves the engine had been thinking of, including its evaluation and depth of thought. Now, to save the game as a result of all of this, we'll just go to Save Game As, choose the database we want to save in, and just enter your basic information. So let's say Korchnoi. Poor guy being inflicted with these terrible moves of mine. Against Kasparov. private game, and we'll say it was a draw. And it will produce imagery that's sometimes called from the database of photos and sometimes not, just be warned. So we've done this, all this, and now when we close this, you can now see in the list of database games, it's now been added. Kasparov versus Korchnoi, 
and you can see all of the different stuff in the preview. And that, my friend, is the lesson of the day.